And to all you Negroes who remember me, you remember me as the Ultra Star Triple Three. Yes, it's me, the one and only. Back on here in one piece. Uh, been about a year since I've been on here. But um, shit, that don't even matter. I'm, I'm surviving. That's that's what matters. Okay. Um, there's a lot of shit I want to talk about. You know, uh, I mean, shit. The whole damn Michael Brown thing, you know, that Trayvon Martin, all over again. When you niggas gonna wake up and understand the shit I talk about, you can't make peace with this motherfucker, okay? But I'm gonna get off into that. But not too much, because I really want to talk about a solution. A overall universal solution that will wipe out 90% of our problems. Okay? But, um, shit, there's, there's been a lot going on. A lot. A whole lot. And, um, you know, so, some of you brothers, you know, I mean, a year is, is a long time for most people. It ain't a long time for me. Okay? But, there may have been some brothers, you know, that, that may have passed, you know, within the past year. That may, may have, you know, passed away, you know. And I want to say rest in peace to them, you know, and um, rest in peace to uh, the Empress of uh, the, the Washita uh, Nation, okay. Um... Now let's get off in this, this whole solution thing. And we're going to run it down to a lot of you newcomers. Uh, a lot of y'all that's new that's watching. Because if you don't understand me by now, I'm probably going to say some shit that's going to piss you off. But it's going to be the truth. So if you can't handle the truth, you might as well get the fuck up out of here right now. I'm just keeping it real with you. Because I'm, I'm going to give you the full McNasty. The full fucking McNasty. It ain't gonna be no different than the last time. The last video I put out. And I got pretty nasty on there. But I meant what the fuck I said. Okay? Now, picking up from where I left off. We're talking about the New World Order. From a black man's view, point of view. Which is realistic. Okay? We have a lot of problems. We have so many problems, not even half our problems are solved. We run into the same fucking problem decade by decade, century by century. And we're still not free as a people. We're not. You got a lot of us that uh, have the mentality if you can't beat the white man, you might as well join them. And I've said before, that's fucking treason. Whether they belong, know it or not, they belong to a fucking nation. Okay? Or a tribe. A lost tribe. They go join the white man and sell their people off. These are the people, the Negroes, we got to get rid of. Or either correct. Now there's a lot of leaders. A lot of so-called black leaders, okay? That a lot of black folks look look up to. But they ain't really doing shit. They don't have a real goddamn solution to the problem. Think about it. Try everything. Let's be like the white man. Let's go against the white man. Let's try to be our own nation. But at the same fucking time, they talking black and living like they white and thinking green all the fucking time. Green as in money. Okay? They ain't, they ain't serious about no solution. And will Go to the white man 
Go to the fucking CIA or the FBI or some shit. Goddamn snitches. And say, yeah, this nigga trying to start something. So they can stay in power. Okay? These are the type of Negroes that won't that them that will see to it that we don't progress. And just to be fucking honest with you, these type of niggas, they got to fucking die. I said it before. They have got to fucking die. Point blank. Look, if you know me, I'm not about no bullshit. I'm about putting in motherfucking work, okay? I mean what the fuck I say. And me, I'm not scared to die. I'm not fucking scared to die. Neither am I scared to kill either. But let's get on to this shit. Like I said, I've been putting in work. That's why I haven't been on this motherfucker like talking about. You know, doing debates and... What the fuck is a debate gonna solve? Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. Listen, you debating on a piece of legislation that you wrote and signing on trying to pass a bill, that debate is fucking no. It don't mean shit. But the boost some damn ego. That's all the fuck it is. I'm talking about the black conscious community. You got a lot of these knuckleheads running around here thinking they know every goddamn thing. Thinking about this, they that, they talking about this, and all this bullshit. What the fuck is that proving? And to be honest with you, a lot of them don't even know half the shit that I know, but I don't go and debate or nothing like that. I try to put it towards a fucking solution, the knowledge that I have. Not go and debate with it, because it don't mean shit. Now back to this whole New World Order thing. In order for a real New World Order, see, you gotta understand when white, the white man talk, these motherfucking conspiracy theorists and all of that talk about, oh, the New World Order, David Ike, this motherfucker talk, oh, the New World Look, white man is comfortable with the way things are, okay? Because the slightest war, the, uh, the wrong fucking war, can tip the uh, balance of power, okay? China don't want no fucking real war. Russia don't want no real war. India don't want no real war. The United States don't want a real war, okay? War costs money, and war send nations into fucking bankruptcy, okay? And poverty. They don't want that. They don't. But the right person come along and want to give them that, a real motherfucking war, they're going to have to respond to it. They're going to have to. Or either surrender with some conditions. There's talks about war, but like I said, a real motherfucking war, all out war, it ain't gonna happen right now. It, there's too much money that has been invested, okay, into building things up to the way they are right now. And basically, at our fucking expense, at our pain and suffering, talking about the Negroes, that's right. Because America wouldn't be what it is today without the Negro. And I said it before. If you know your history, then yes, you know that shit. You goddamn white folks know that. Even to this day, to this day, Negroes, what, the kind of money that run through our hands of black folks just here in America alone, spending money on fucking Nikes, that kind of shit. Bullshit. iPhones. Weave. The billions. We still ain't got shit. We don't own no fucking ports. We don't own no damn shipping containers. Nothing. None of that. Where is it going to? It's going to the white folks. Yeah, it's going to the fucking white folks. 
to you Negroes in a conscious community, you need to listen. You need to. And I'm going to tell you why. If you have become conscious to what's going on, a lot of shit that I've talked about in our history and all that, you ought to know your ass is here for a reason. Your ass came into the knowledge for a reason. When the rest of the, uh, the, the nation, the black nation, don't know. A lot of them don't give a fuck. They more in tune to the goddamn TV show Empire and other dumb shit. Okay? Dumb mundane shit. What's going on on VT? What's the latest trend? Fuck all of that. Because none of that shit matters. And in the end, it ain't gonna matter. So you came into the knowledge for a reason. You here right now, knowing what you know, for a reason. And you got the fucking advantage. You got the advantage over other people, believe it or not. Even some of these white motherfuckers, these educated white motherfuckers, that don't want to accept the truth. What's the truth? We are the original motherfucking human beings on this planet. We were genetically altered by the Anunnaki, our forefathers. But that white bitch ain't gonna tell you that. He not. He's not going to tell you that. Even if he's amazed by it and doing studies about it, he ain't going to let your black ass know. Because you might be too ashamed. So you got to understand why there's a lot of secrecy about stuff. Knowledge is power. So when you give somebody some knowledge, you're giving them some power. The more knowledge you have, the more power you have. If you understand Inky, if you don't know who he is, you better look it up. I'm just going to call him E. E-A. Okay? E. If you understand E, you understand that he chose knowledge over rulership. Out of his own mouth. He said it. Told his son that. Firstborn, Amira. If you understand Knowledge is more important than rulership. Then you you'll know you'll know what where he where he stood on that. Okay, Inky, the whole planet is named after Inky. E A E. E A. I said that before. That that was his name on Nibiru. He just called Inky. Changed his name when he got here. For whatever reason. But the bottom line is this. In order for you to know who you are, you, you gotta you, you gotta know where you're going also. So where are we going? What direction are we going? Are we going in the right direction or the wrong direction? Do we have a responsibility to look over those who are less fortunate than us, who are less knowledgeable than us? Fucking debating, talking about who's who know this, who know that. That don't solve shit. It doesn't. Let me give you a real fucking solution. Okay, because if the white man fell tomorrow and the power landed in your hands, you would know what the fuck to do with it. You wouldn't. You would not know how to. I'm talking about the Negroes that's in, that, that has many, many followers. In these groups. They wouldn't know what to do, no real fucking power. No. Some would just lead by fucking example, okay? Real power is having a real plan 
If you have power in your hands, you have to maintain it. You have to be a thinker, an innovator, not just a leader. It is true that true power is behind the throne. That's very, that's very much so true. You can see the power before the throne or uh, behind the throne. But whatever power you have, if you don't manage it and maintain it, it's going to depart from you. Somebody else is going to steal it. Or either I'll thank you. So what's the real solution for the Negro? Better education? More education? More economics? Mm -mm. No. We tried all of that shit. Only two fucking things that the Negro right here have been trying was taking back his fucking homeland and going to war. Now there's been small wars and shit fought down south. The Seminole War and everything. The war down in Mexico. But the bottom line is this. If you're not prepared to fight for your survival and you depend on a white man for your survival, you doomed alone already. You doomed. You just a walking fucking dead. But if you ready to live and prosper, you're gonna change your way of thinking. Changing your way of thinking can improve you, can improve your life overall. So what's that way of thinking? How would the Negro have to think? To get the fuck out from under the white man. This white bastard. Okay. That a lot of Negroes love so fucking much. And some of those same Negroes. Gonna be laying in coffins. Next to this white motherfucker. Okay. As I said before. No bullshit. No fucking bullshit. He's, he's worried about ISIS. <laughs> about fucking ISIS, <laughs> bitch, please. That's that's Mickey Mouse. I'm on a whole fucking different level. Let me show you what level I'm on. World domination, period. Okay. ISIS ain't worried about taking over the fucking world. Fuck no. If you got motherfuckers following, that's some shit that you know. That, that, that's all staged. Because let me tell you something. There's nobody that has been fucked over like the black man on this planet. Okay? Name any other nation that has been fucked over like the black man. No. None other. You won't find none. None whatsoever. So... When a black man reaches a point where he is fucking tired, he's going to want to go to war. ISIS, Al-Qaeda, these motherfuckers won't have nothing on the black man that's tired. The black man that wake up and say, look here you white motherfucker, I'm not taking your bullshit no more. Point blank. When he comes to that point, he's ready to fucking go to war, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. But you got niggas like Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton. That's puppets for the white man. That pacify black folks. That don't want a real war. Don't. 
When are you going to get tired? When? You got other nations fighting them like man right now that ain't been through half the shit you've been through. War. War is normal. Being, war is natural because in order to fucking survive, you're going to have to go to war at some point in time. That's natural. Because if your ass was living on another planet, you'd be at war with somebody else that's trying to dominate you. You look in the animal kingdom right now. Some certain animals have natural predators. And the ones that don't have natural predators still gotta fight. To survive. Now make no mistake about it. On a genetic level. And I don't want to get all deep off into this shit, okay? Because I can talk about this throughout the whole fucking video, but I don't want to. I don't just kick some real shit. Genetics. I already talked about RH positive or RH negative. Majority of y'all that's looking at me right now, you're RH positive, okay? I'm RH negative. Meaning that RH is the rhesus monkey. You have the rhesus monkey gene. 90% of the planet have this gene, okay? But anyway, moving past that, when the Anunnaki genetically altered and created us, as I said, RH positive, RH negative, I don't have the Reese's monkey gene. Maybe that's the reason why I'm the way I am. I do shit that nobody else would do. RH positive. Okay? Just to be, be real about the shit. The majority of the fucking wars that got started on this planet was motherfuckers that had RH negative blood type. Let's just be real about the shit. Most people that's RH positive are not as aggressive. Not as, they're more passive. You think about an ape. As strong as a fucking ape is. That ape is not really aggressive. That ape will beat on his chest. But not attack. An ape can rip your motherfucking spinal column out of your body. If it wants to. But the ape is gentle. Docile. And not really aggressive. Not aggressive like no fucking tiger or no lion. The ape is not a killer. The apes sit around and eat bananas and shit. And when they get pissed off, they'll, they'll fight. But it, it, it rarely results in some serious injury. When the Anunnaki started mixing in with well, R.H. Positives and RH negative children were born. That's that aggressive shit. That, that aggressive, you know, uh, that aggressiveness. But overall, black folks are good. As I said before, black folks are good people. You know, if you read the story of the Sumerian Texas, Alan and Naki was more at war with themselves than anybody else. That aggressive shit. And I'm just keeping it real. That's why I like Inky. Inky wasn't really all that aggressive. He had it in him, but he just used it a different way. Inky wild smart you. E. E wild smart you. And make you want to kick his ass. After you figure out he outsmarted you. And that could be days or months or weeks later. He just did it a different way. Just like any extraterrestrial want to infiltrate the government, they're not going in there with no fucking weapons. They're going in here with this first. The bottom line is this. Most people, most black folks are good.
have the RH negative blood types. Okay? I'm, I'm just fucking keeping it real. It needs to be told. Because let's be real about it. It's RH negatives that really fucking run the world. That, that really call the shots. But there's good RH negatives, there's bad RH negatives. But that whole aggressive thing, the violence, that's still there. That's the element, that's, that's a part of that. That's a part of being a so-called God. There's going to be something about that God that makes them stand out above the rest whether if it's something good or something bad whether if it's a, a God that's knowledgeable and can do different things it's gonna stand out now whatever he knows or uh, special abilities that he may have it's his or her choice to put it to some good use. And most RH negatives, a lot of them put it to negative use for their own benefit. It only benefits them. Inky, that's what made Inky stand out. E, most underrated person on the planet. Because he didn't side with the majority. To rule over your black ass. Point blank. That's what makes Inky different. That's what makes him so fucking special. That's why I admire Inky. He went against the fucking grain. Not only the other Anunnaki, but other extraterrestrials also. Doing good comes with a price. Comes with a big price. You, you're going to piss a lot of people off. But fuck it, you know. You roll with it. That's how I have been character. And being a real fucking God. Nobody bosses you around. A real true God don't follow the fucking crowd. Or don't follow other gods. He's his own person. He's his own man. Own being. Isolated. I talked about that shit before. But as far as the being aggressive, RH positive blood types, which mean that your black ass, no, you won't go the distance as a RH negative. I'm telling you from experience. You won't go to the fucking extreme. You won't. That's why the world is dominated by RH negative. It take a fucking RH negative to get out of RH negative. It's like it take an extraterrestrial to get out of another extraterrestrial. Certain things are beyond your reach. Because it's a genetic thing. Now I want to talk about world domination and a solution for black folks. A real fucking solution. What's the real solution? I talked about busting up them agreements. That the US, United States, have with China, Russia, etc, etc. Because right now we, we ain't nothing but some fucking ants to them. They don't acknowledge us unless we were playing some sports or got some negative shit going on with us or whatever. Or some music or what have you. They haven't in their mind all we fucking know is sports and music or we some dumb ass fucking monkeys. Not many black men talk like the fuck I talk, okay? Talking about some real shit in the videos I've made. And when he does talk, he's not taken seriously. 
that's a that's a good and a bad thing. I'm talking about white folks. Say this is some crazy ass nigga on here talking with a mask on his face. He might dope be doped up on drugs. He might be on drugs. He might be a psychopath. He might just do it for entertainment. And that's cool. Because that puts me in a safe haven. Okay, because when this motherfucker, years down the line, when some shit happens, he's not going to be thinking about what's being said today. He's going to go back in the archives and find out how shit led up to what it, what it came to be when his ass on the run. When his ass about to get off, the, off, the, off his throne. When we be who we are and who we are meant to be as a people, as a nation. Busting up agreements and getting some new agreements signed. Whether if it's through war or through peace. Nobody really wants a war. Nobody really wants a real fucking war. Because like I said, casualties, the cost of money, the cost of the cleanup, the ill effects of war. But your black ass ain't got nothing to lose because you don't have a nation. Nope, you don't. You don't know fucking ports. You don't know factories. You don't make no fucking cars. You don't make the goddamn drawers you wear. You don't make the fucking socks that you wear. Let's just be real about the shit. You don't own no a refi oil refineries. None of that. The fuck you got to lose? You got everything to gain. You been losing anyway. What, white folks over fucking, over 400 years ahead of us. Over 400 years. They had a head start. So you 400 years into their future. He's going in outer space. Doing different things. He was right here, right, right here with you. When there was no fucking TV, when there was no radio, when there was no cars. But yeah, he's flying up in ships going in outer space now. We still here. You need to think about that. Think about it and want to do something about it. You ought to be tired. Tired of the same old shit. You know the motherfucker is racist. You know he don't want you to get ahead. Not ahead of him. He can't stop other nations from getting ahead of him. He can slow them down, but he can't fucking stop. He can stop your black ass, though. Because you living right under. Whatever you get is because he don't mind you having it. Or he wants you to have it. The house, the car, that's not yours. As I said before, when you own something, you have the means to back it up. To keep motherfuckers from coming to take it away from you. You can lose your house or your car with the right person signing a piece of paper. All it takes is a piece of paper for you to lose your house and your car. Not a fucking military. A piece of paper. The sheriff come knocking at your damn door with a piece of paper to serve you some papers. To go to court. That ain't no military knocking at your door. And we talking about paper. 
sick of some of you niggas talking about. I'm going, I'm making that paper, man. You ain't making a goddamn thing. Because if you make it, you print the paper, and it'll beat your face on the paper. You ain't making shit. You earn it. You have the nations that make their paper, literally, that print it out and issue it to their citizens. You don't have a nation, not yet. And a lot of people, a lot of black folks tend to get ahead of themselves with that bullshit. The white collar ones. The, the black attorney. These Negroes. See, the rest of the world don't see us as we see ourselves. Because the way we see ourselves, we think we independent from the white man. Or we not. Other nations know we depend on this motherfucker for everything. We don't grow our own food. None of that. Go to work and earn his fucking money that he prints out. Use that same money to go to his fucking stores and spend it. Your ass a slave still. Just a modern slave. Just because you're a slave don't mean that you have to fucking think like one. But a real solution. Get rid of the motherfucking white man. Point blank. You get from under this motherfucker. He sent you to go fight wars. I'm talking to you niggas in the military. Shit, let's just be real about it. You gonna die and fight his motherfucking wars. When you got a war going on with yourself. With this motherfucker. You're a prisoner of war. And you take orders from this motherfucker to go fight and kill people that you when you fucking know. They ain't never done a goddamn thing to you. I can't respect that. Hell no. I can't. I can respect that shit from this white motherfucker. Because yeah. He owns every damn thing here. The railroads. Every motherfucking thing. So he has an interest to protect. Your black ass ain't got no interest to protect but his. And that shit needs to stop. As I said, if you had some real power laid in your hands, you wouldn't know how to fucking maintain it. You'd be signing shit away to this white motherfucker all over again. You'd be selling black folks out all over again. But like I said, I got a solution. I got a solution. A new world order. The white man gone. On the run. Not only would it help us, but it help other nations also. The arms race. Well, other nations, it's because of that goddamn white man. When he get more weapons, other nations that can afford them, they go and get them also. Because they know that this bastard is a threat. So, they, of course, they're going to spend more fucking money manufacturing weapons and buying weapons to keep up with this motherfucker. When there was just peace overall and the agreements were met, nobody would be in an arms race. And if there's a goddamn dispute, a real dispute, I'm, I'm talking about Anunnaki style. Not these punk motherfuckers that sit up, dictating, and, and sending people to go out to fight their war. No, Anunnaki style, you got a problem with a motherfucker that's in power. Guess what? You strip your clothes off, you get your ass in the ring. You're going to fight. Not send other motherfuckers to get killed 
for your ass. As I said before, the battle between Anu and Alalu. Al 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 you see what I'm saying? You got to change your way of thinking because if I have a problem with somebody, I'm not going to go and send somebody to fight my fucking war. If I got beef with this one motherfucker, I'm going and get his ass. I'm going to come, I'm going to confront him. That's what being a real man is about. This motherfucking white man, he ain't no real man. He is not, he's not a fucking man by nature. He's a bisexual by nature. That's some coward shit, okay? To send somebody to go fight this fucking war. That fat motherfucker, uh, 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 uh. What's his name? That caused a lot of people to get killed. His ass ain't even dead yet. He wanted for war crimes in other countries. Kissinger. That fat mother. Look. If that bitch, if we did it on the Naki style, a lot of them motherfuckers would be dead, broken down with just a bad hand, okay? But yet, they hide behind other people. Send other people to do their dirty work. Because they fucking cowards by nature. Because if it came down to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat, them bitches would be running. But yet, put people, people, people's lives on the line and signing papers and shit. Anunnaki were real men. That's what a real man is about. It ain't about getting other motherfuckers killed. You put your own fucking life on the line. Fuck that. Don't, don't worry about him. Don't worry about the next man putting his life on the line. If there's a problem that you have with a fucking nation, you go to that motherfucking leader and you tell him, look, let's solve this shit. We either come to agreement or we do a hand-to-hand -hand combat. Anunnaki style. That bitch still go off the calendar system that the Anunnaki invented. That bitch still well watch that the Anunnaki invented. Huh? This bitch leave, live by the same principles as the, as the Anunnaki, but can't fight his battles like the Anunnaki. Fuck that white bitch. Point blank. Fuck him, okay? And his children that come after him. Because the reason why he don't like black folks, a black, a black man, because he know a black man is a real fucking man. Black man may be fucked up right now, but God damn it, there's still traits about him, good traits, that he know he'll never have, that he'll never fucking develop. He wouldn't be able to go through the shit that a black man going through, let alone the fucking Anunnaki. He can't maintain shit. As you can see. Fucking deep water horizon. Uh, Chernobyl. He's the biggest fuck up in the history of the planet. That's a fact. That's a motherfucking fact. Now, as I said, a real solution will get this motherfucker out of the way. Nobody can save the planet like the black man. You see all the other fucking nations on the sideline, okay? The black, the planet belongs to the motherfucking black man. E, E, A, E, E, was fucking black, you white bitch. And you know it. You know it. There's too many black people, brown skinned people on this fucking planet. The Anunnaki stayed here for how many years? If the fucking Anunnaki were white, there would be more whites on this planet. The Anunnaki were black. They were black. They looked like my black ass. Except for they stood taller. They had an extra royal teeth. They had six fucking fingers. But as far as the whole likeness, 
Let us make man in our own image and likeness. God damn it, that's me. That's what that the, the the next black man that you look at, you looking at the fucking Anunnaki, the descendant of one. Who the fuck you think you better than Anunnaki, bitch? Now let's get on with this shit. A real fucking solution for the planet. I typed this shit up myself. It's been on my mind since last year. I just been fucking around. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been fucking around with hoes and met this one chick. She... Crazy shit. I've been to jail and everything. I wasn't in there that long. But fuck, I bitch pissed me off and I ain't hit her. I damaged some shit. Bitch called police. I refused to talk to the motherfucker. So you shot a warrant of, of arrest. That shit sat on me for, for about a year. I get into a fucking car accident and some motherfucker hit me in the back. The officer rung my life and said, oh shit, you got a warrant. What? A warrant? What the, what the hell is going on? Now the motherfucker office told me, and I talked to him, said, you want to come down to the station call for it? I'm going to just go to the judge and get a arrest warrant for you. I said, okay, you do that. You do just that, because you ain't got shit on me. He did just that. Warrant set on me. I had that shit on me since May of last year. Ain't catch up with me until... Early last month. So yeah, I've been dealing with that shit. Me and the chick, we've been on good terms since then. I, I, I've been fucking that pussy every day since then. So I mean, you know, she, she ain't pressed no charges or nothing like that. There ain't no charges pending. Met another chick. Or shit, she, 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 she give it up. She give it up good. Now you, if you know me, I don't talk about pussy all day. I'm just say this: just ain't too many sisters giving up that asshole like that. I mean, fuck. The, the, when I first met, I ain't gonna lie, nigga. Let me explain something to you. I'm raw with it, okay? I'm gonna just keep it real. Whatever the fuck I'm telling you, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it or nothing like that. Just keeping the shit real. The chick that called the police on me, when me and this chick got on good times, she wanted to see me fuck another woman, okay? She's bisexual, alright? I don't care about no bisexual chick or nothing like that. But that's even the only kind of chicks I run across. So, okay, fuck it, you know? You pick the woman, go along with it. I have a threesome or some shit, and I ain't never been no fucking threesome, okay? Don't really care for that shit. But well, she insisted, because she, she's a stone cold freak. A 47 year old stone cold freak. I'm 35 years old. She couldn't find one, so I found this other chick that I met eight years ago or whatever. I ain't never fucked at all. I just felt on a pussy. Because uh, she asked me to bring her lunch one day. So, I mean, she was, she was down for a threesome or whatever. But these hoes got the beef beefing. The other chick that I met eight years ago, she just wanted to fuck me. She didn't want no threesome. She went behind the other chick back and came to me. I just want to fuck. Being the nigga that I am, I took up on the offer. Fuck it, I'm getting in it. You know, we talked about a lot of shit. And I'm just keeping real with you, nigga. I said, say, you gonna let me you gonna let me fuck that pussy raw? She said, yeah. I, Shit. I, yeah, I'm I'm not all up in it and everything. She say she had a fucking tooth tied. Hell yeah, she fine. Fuck that, I'm going in it raw. Cause I like that shit. Okay? I know the fucking risk, but that's the nigga that sent me. Like I say, I'm giving it to you raw. 
Went over there one night. I got in that pussy. I ain't gonna lie to you. She said, I asked her about letting me hit nothing in that asshole. She was okay with it. She said, I had the best orgasm doing anal. Shit, this this is what I need to be. So I'm, you know, getting this. She went and got the lube and everything. She had that shit. I'm like, fuck it. I'm gonna hit that shit raw too. I do the wrist from that also. So I, I get up in it, it's tight. So you squeeze my ass muscles, okay? I'm gonna get asshole fit on my dick like a glove, alright? So I'm like, okay, shit, this shit's tight. You begin to loosen it up, okay? That asshole started loosening up. So she's like, you can go in and hit it hard. Shit, I hit it hard. I'm in it. I'm hitting that asshole and she taking it. So I pull out. I'm, you know you hit a chick in the asshole or whatever. You know. You know there's a possibility you might get some shit on your thing. I ain't had none of that. I wasn't talking no corn nuts and shit off my dick. None of that. That asshole was clean. So like I said, I'm just keeping it real. That asshole was good. She's good and vet. She do every fucking thing. Everything. So, I, like I said, I've just been fucking around with these hoes and shit, you know. That's what's been slowing me down also. But anyway, back to this. New World Order, and I talked about us uniting. Under one nation, the blacks. Hispanics. Puerto Ricans. Indians, the Colombians. In order for us to become that one nation, South America, the Haitians, the Dominicans, the Puerto Ricans, Cubans, West Indies, all tribes of the North American Indians, we become one nation again. Which before the fucking white man came. It was called American. A M U R R I C A N. Or A M U U R I C A N. That's where America gets its name from. You know how white folks change shit around? But they don't change it around all the time. Because there's still some names Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama. Arkansas, those are not white names, okay? We would need to become one nation. When you become a nation, you set rules, you set laws. You write a constitution. I've never heard anybody in the fucking conscious community, conscious community talk about writing a damn constitution. That's what would need to be done. May not have a military to back shit up, but things would need to be in place. When that does happen. Order. I talked about the United States no longer being the United States. The United States, let's just say ultra star. U.S. Ultra Star. I don't see nothing wrong with that. What's wrong with Ultra Star? Nothing. Unless you can come up with a better name. But I think the name is very befitting. Because I don't hear no other Negroes talking about taking the homeland back. I don't hear no other Negroes talking like the way I talk. The U.S. be split into three different states, headed by three different Negroes. Three different Negroes. We talking about 
a western part of the United States, a southern part of the United States, beginning and ending with Texas, up all the way up north to Minnesota. That's three. Well, that's two. The third one would be the East Coast. Connecticut, New York, Vermont, these different states all combined into one. One fucking man. No senator, no nothing. Three Negroes. These three Negroes would need to have diplomatic immunity. Including myself. I don't want to rule shit, but I would like to have diplomatic immunity. Even if it's just for my fucking blood type alone. Diplomatic immunity can only be granted by if all three of those Negroes, the head Negroes, vote on put it to a vote. And all three vote on it and it passed. Meaning that if you want to become, have diplomatic immunity or whatever, you have to go through all three of them. And they have to be approved by all three. Um, three headed Negroes. Of the new nation. They can't be RH negative. No. That defeats the whole purpose. It ain't gonna be none of that who rule by bloodline shit, okay? No. In order for to, to, to sit on the throne, for any Negro to sit on the throne for all three states. He must main, have and maintain R.H. Potts' blood type. Because the majority of the people here in the United States, the majority of the black folks are R.H. Potts' blood type. We're not going back to that same old shit again. Ruled by bloodline. Motherfucker don't want to get up off the throne, want to pass it along, and, and, and mate with his sister. Mate with his mama or some shit, daddy fucking a daughter, incest and all that bullshit. No. All RH blood type Negroes like myself, exempt from all local and state laws. RH negative blood type may only be prosecuted in a court of law specifically for our for all RH negative blood types. And I think that's fair. Because if we talking about RH negative, meaning that if there's an extraterrestrial fugitive on the run, he can't he can't be in no regular court. He's gonna have to be in that RH negative court. And which his blood type, he, he, he or she or its blood type will be RH negative. Won't have no monkey gene. But if it does, it's still going to RH negative blood type. Because there will be a special group that will handle that kind of shit. Not, it ain't something that's civil. Once the three-headed Negroes get voted in the office or on the throne, they have to complete at least 30% of their plans, their agendas. I mean, if they talking the shit, they talking the talk, doing the damn campaign, they're going to have to complete 30%. They're going to have to walk the walk 30% of what the fuck they said they was going to do. If not, 
another election to be held to get them off the fucking throne by the people. Before they even take seat on the throne, instead of them putting their hand on the Bible, swearing about this shit, uphold the Constitution, all that bullshit like they do right now, these Negroes gonna have to take an oath and agree to total fucking transparency of all finances and prosecutions. And anything in question that may have that, that may lead to treason. Mean that they fucking feet gonna be held to the fire. It ain't gonna be no fucking taking money to do this and do that. No. So you gotta understand, there will be a blockchain similar to Bitcoin. By that time. And you can't go back and change the shit that's on the blockchain. There won't be no shady ass accounting and all of that. These Negroes that's on the throne gonna have to account for the shit. War. I talked about this before. In order for the Negro to successfully gain foot, gain hold, on the planet as he was once was, there's gonna have to be a quarantine on the whole planet. Nobody goes in, nobody gets a fuck out. Point blank. I'm talking about extraterrestrials and all. This is our goddamn planet. So you clean the house, you don't need nobody coming up in here tracking the fucking dirt, tracking mud. The ones that's already in here are going to get dealt with. A full quarantine. If it ain't the Anunnaki, nobody needs to be here. They come, they're going to get shot, they're going to get killed. No questions asked. Because it's as tired as the black man is, shouldn't hold it against them. Don't want to see nobody else come. If it ain't the Anunnaki, we don't want to see them coming right now. Reptilians, a search to capture and kill every last reptilian on the planet. I don't give a fuck what kind of reptile it is. Needs to be wiped out. Period. I don't give a damn it's the kind that David I talk about. I don't give a fuck what kind it is. This this, this land is for the Cro Cro Magnum man and apes, and it's gonna continue to be that way. It should be that way. A fucking reptile, as I told you, is a parasite. If a fucking lizard was big enough to eat your ass, it would. It would take its chances on making a meal out of your ass. And anything that would take the chance to make a meal out of your ass. If they think that it could, you need to eradicate it. You need to kill it. Because even a fucking lion in the wild wouldn't risk t attacking your ass if you got a stick or a cane. It's on certain animals, certain mammals are naturally afraid of human beings. One approach them. A reptile. That small ass brain, that's, that brain, to, that instinct of survival, that motherfucker would attack your ass. So you attack that bitch first. A war. When you go start shit, you gotta have alliances. Try to build up alliances with China. Only with China, the big nations. China. India and Africa. That's it. Those three nations right there. You get three of those behind us. Which Africa would already be? But Africa would have been in the state that it's in. Militarily, you won't have that support. But if you have the support of 
resources, that helps also. The build of alliances with China, India, and Africa. And rage war not only against the reptiles. France. Why France? Them French motherfuckers, I live in the state of Louisiana. If you know anything about the fucking Louisiana Purchase and Napoleon, that bitch ass motherfucker. French had a hand in slavery also. So you know what? It's revenge. France wiped completely the fuck out. No survival. England wiped completely the fuck out. No survivors. Even though they held, keep all of those artifacts, the blacks, that the shit that they stole out of Africa. If there's not a team of Negroes that can go in and recover all of that shit, if they don't hand it over. And they just have to cut our losses on artifacts. Very valuable artifacts. They kept a lot of shit. Russia. That's questionable. I don't see Russia keeping its hands out of other countries or keeping to itself when there's conflict going on over there. So them motherfuckers may need to be hit also. See these are nations that really never went to fucking war with a black man. It's, it's very personal. It ain't about business. This shit is personal. So you fight harder when it's fucking personal. Israel. These, these white motherfuckers want to over there want to be like you. Stole the fucking land. Say we Jewish. No, we not Jew. We Jewish. We Jewish. Them motherfuckers refer to themselves as being Jewish. Not Jews, but Jewish. That's like a white person saying, I'm blackish. I'm blackish. No, bitch, you whitish. That's what you are. It's like the fucking Jews over there. Fake Jews. Jewish. And don't want to know the truth. Nope. These motherfuckers think that the world revolves around them. With all the fucking technology and the DNA research. These bitches should be thanking us. Thanking us. Holy, holy Negro. Holy Negro, I worship the fucking ground that you, work, that you walk on because you are the descendants of the Anunnaki. But you know the arrogant attitude that them bitches have? They think that we beneath them. As I said, when a black man gets tired, the world will see. It won't be anything that the world would expect from a black man. The pain, the suffering. And some may say, well, if, you, if that was called, if the pain and suffering was caused upon you, why would you want to cause it upon somebody else? Say, bitch, you ain't been through what I've been through. I'm still fucked up behind that to this very day. That's what you say. Don't try to hear all that bullshit. Because a lot of warfare is psychological. So Israel, they, they would definitely need to go. The Holy Land belongs to us. Everything on this fucking earth belongs to us. 
but especially that part. And what a lot of you Negroes don't understand, that part of the land was occupied by Enlil, E's brother, who was black also. Say, Abraham, I'm going to make a nation out of you. Genetically. Inky, E and, and Lil had a bittersweet relationship. Spain. They get it also. The reason why the so-called Hispanics speak Spanish, they ain't got shit. Let me explain something. Just because I speak English don't fucking mean I'm from England. Just because a Mexican speaks Spanish means that they're from Spain. Hell no. Nah. Those are fucking Indians, okay? Just a mixture of black and Asian throughout the trade before the white man came here. Those blacks and Asians trading and mixing amongst, amongst one another along with the Mongolians through the Barren Strait. There's no such thing as an American Indian, North American Indian. Indians come from India. Italy, the Italians, the Romans. Wasn't it the Romans that prosecuted Christ, that hung that, 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 that killed him? The motherfucking Italians, people say, oh, the Italians are like black folks. Fuck no, they ain't like us. They can never be us. We are superior. Genetically. Now, white bitch know that. The Italians, they gotta fucking go. Portugal, the Portuguese. Hmm. They had, a, they had a hand in the slave trade also. They must feel the pain also. Canada. The Canadians. By them being so close. To our fucking land. To secure that area, a, war, a small war would have to happen right up there in that region. You understand, the Canadians ain't none of the fucking French that migrated there. They will need to go. But it will be convenient. To take them as slaves. For the labor. The rebuild. Cause let me explain something to you. In the new world order. There's going to be a lot of damage. From wars and shit. Bridges collapsing. Buildings down. Houses. It could be Katrina all over again. But nationwide. Somebody's going to need to be rebuilt. Lots of labor. If there ain't no gas flowing, no fuel, every fucking thing, every brick, all of that shit, cement, going to have to be mixed by hand. And that's when these motherfuckers are come, have to come into play. And when, when they get the fuck up off that land, that land will be reserved to build a spaceport, an international spaceport, just as was built before. Once we able to do that and secure everything, then we may be up for uh, communicating with extraterrestrials. You, you only able to land and take off from this international spaceport. 
coming and going. No place else on the planet. There will be hotels and accommodations and everything. A medical facility, all of that shit. Only for extraterrestrials and extraterrestrials only. And they won't be able to leave that part without the proper clearance from the three-headed Negroes, as I talked about. All nations on the earth in possession of stolen artifacts that belong to the Negro and created by Negroes must be returned immediately and return to the proper authorities, Negro authorities of Negro nations. Extraterrestrials, temporarily living or visiting E, this planet, because we're going to call Earth no Earth no more. Fuck that. It's going to be called E, what it should be called. E, they must, once notice is given, they have 48 hours to, to, to state their locations, how long they fucking been here. Well, they first must notify the, the, uh, uh, the proper authorities, the Negro authorities. 48 hours of their existence in any part of the region of the earth. And specify in detail the native homeland, the blood type, the DNA structure, and the reason why they're residing here and how long they've been residing here. After that, they'll be transferred to designated areas. Assigned by Negroes. Any extraterrestrial residing in E, Earth, as you know it, must comply to the international laws on this planet with no fucking exceptions. Extraterrestrial fugitives that are not to be extradited off the planet without proper clearance. Meaning that if there's an extraterrestrial on, on, on the run from another planet, another solar system, he's not being extradited. He or she is not being extradited without the proper clearance. What I mean the proper clearance, they will have to notify a special group, a special Negro group that handles all of that shit. Say, look, he's a fugitive, we want him back. No, it's gonna take more than that. It's gonna take more than your word. We don't want your fucking money or your technology. We wanna know what's going on. And why is he or she here? And why you spend so much money coming to get this person? For all we know, it could be a fucking scientist on the run. And whatever the fuck he know, he or she know, we need to know. Healthcare. Well, let me go back to extraterrestrials. Any extraterrestrial that's also being held captive by the white man gonna be set free and one way ticket back home. You won't be our prisoner, he or she won't be our fucking prison. We got our own war. Unless he or she committed a crime or found guilty, they getting the fuck up out of here. You can go back home. Because that was a white man's prisoner, not ours. Healthcare, all North and South Americans. Because that's what it's going to be called. What's known as North America and South America, going to be called American. As it was once called. Free healthcare. Real fucking free healthcare. 100% at the expense and the powers that reign in all regions. Those three-headed Negroes, 
They gonna be paying for that. Whoever's down in South America, America, those Negroes, they gonna be handling that also. I mean that no Negro American citizen have to come out of pocket for shit. Nothing. Um, Texas, the, in the entire state of Texas will be transferred into a research and medical facility and a genetic facility. The whole entire fucking state will accommodate the health, the whole, each and every hospital if that currently exists now. Transportation to and from Texas will be by rail, magnetic rail, or what's, what you know as a UFO. But it won't be a UFO. It'll be just be a fucking craft, a disc-shaped craft That'll be hitting 10,000 miles an hour. It'll only take a few seconds to, to come from Vermont, or Maine, right here, down here in the south. Just a few seconds, less than a minute. Faster than what the current ambulance that sit up in traffic, rushing to get to an emergency. We eliminate all of that shit. But you know what? That white motherfucker, he don't want to get up off the technology. That's why that white bitch need to go. Because if you white folks, you get in, you kiss the black man's ass right now, he comes to power, he might remember that. And your ass will be living better than a rich white man right now. Because everybody's going to be living well quite well the standard living the standard rich man white man living today the black man will be living that also if not better electricity all north and south americans will be provided with free electricity to each and every home free of cost Okay? We're not going to be stingy and charge people for fucking electricity, the shit that you need. Like this white motherfucker, okay? Energy is free. Nobody fucking created. We just fucking transfer it. He does shit the hard way. He's a wasteful bastard. In order, in the name of making a profit, we narrow shit down. Be efficient as much as possible. Efficient and powerful. House. Each, all North Americans will be provided with one free home and three acres of land. No more fucking projects. None of that. No housing projects. No. You have your own shit. Okay? Your own house. Your own. I mean, if an 18 year old, or he or she wants their own house, they will have it free of charge by those three headed Negroes. See, it won't be no shady ass accountant. Steal it! Black, uh, black. Budget projects and shit. Fuck all of that. There'll be enough wealth to go around to meet everybody's basic needs. Exempt from taxes. The state can't take your house away from you. There won't be no taxes. Once it's yours, it's yours to do whatever the fuck you want to do with it. The only way you can lose your house is if you sued by another citizen and they take you to court. Repayment of debt. If you can lose your house by wrongful death, somebody 
wrongfully death die on your property, and it's your fault, you could lose your house to them, to their family. Paying of the debt. Other than that, the state can't take your fucking house away. And last but not least, the cast the motherfucking white man where he belongs, where he came from, back into the caves. Now the Bible talks about casting the devil into the abyss. I don't know about that shit, but I can't tell you. That under the power of the black man, if I have any fucking say so, that motherfucker is going to be cast into Cabrera, Cabrera Cave. That's the deepest fucking cave on the planet. For his, for the shit that he caused. That's a prison. For that bastard in prison, and Cabrera Cave can accommodate. All white people on the planet. All white people. So that's why I say, you white folks, your day is coming. Because guess what? You ain't better than the Anunnaki. And the Anunnaki lost power. They lost control of the planet. What makes you think you so fucking different? I don't know. But that arrogance will be your fucking demise. Because the black man, he's tired. Extraterrestrials don't want to have shit to do with you. Because they look at us. And I'm pretty sure that at least it's been said once. How could this nationality of people... Do this to the original people that where they fucking came from genetically. So guess what? The way they see it, you fucking do it to us, you do it to them. And that's why they don't want to have shit to do with you white bitches. That's why. Nuclear weapons. All nuclear sites will be shut down. Let me, there's a lot of shit that I still haven't wrote. But it's in here. I will tell you to solve this bullshit with Fukushima. The black man. That labor I was telling you about. Taking Canadians. With the 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 machine the apparatus that I told you in the last video with sound. A weapon. That has been developed already. Using ultrasonic sound as a weapon. A mountain will be chopped. The top of the mountain will be chopped with this weapon as a demonstration. With all the, the rock, with the amount of rock that's going to come off of that mountain, I'm, I have Mount Everest in mind. A Mount Rushmore. That same rock that can be used, can be busted up to make a cement and put Japan to rest. The whole entire fucking continent, Okinawa, Japan to rest. The Japanese will have to be relocated elsewhere. That's a fucking toxic place. The entire Japan will be fucking in tune with that same rock, with the concrete. That's the only way it's gonna fucking stop. And tune the shit out of Japan and say, look, y'all want to move elsewhere. Kiss, kiss your history goodbye over there. And start a new history. That's the goddamn solution. 
real fucking solution. This is why bitch ain't even uh, fixed the deep water horizon, the, the leak in the damn Gulf. You gonna fix Fukushima? It's his fault. Ain't the Japanese fault? That's his. He sold the fucking material, the plans that were faulty to make the damn sites. He's a generic motherfucker, so he's going to do shit a generic way. He's going to cut corners in the name of money. There ain't nothing whole about this motherfucker at all. Nothing. He can't sit in the goddamn sun. He gets sunburned. Get skin cancer. Now all the motherfucking plants and the trees that, that, that can accept the sun... That can handle the sun day in and day out? I don't even look. Let me explain something. As I said, the weapon has been developed. It was used in the Bible. What was it? Said that God parted the sea for his people to come across from the Egyptians. If you know anything about history, Egypt was the land of Amun Ra. Firstborn son of Inca. Inca resided in Egypt. That was them. That was their camp. In Lil, the Holy Land, that was his camp. Like I said, it was a bittersweet relationship between the two. And the negotiation of the release of these prisoners or whatever took place. Ran out of tape. But as I was saying, they had a bittersweet relationship. E, Inky, and, and Lil. Negotiations took place of releasing some of the people. And, you know, make, make, ensuring them they'll have a safe passage or whatever. If you'll notice, there was, in the Bible, it talks about a pillar. That followed the people, that led the people. Or in some Bibles, they talk about a star. That was with them the whole time. Okay, this was in Lil. This was in Lil that gave... Moses, the Ten Commandments, okay? Moses went up on uh, what, Mount Sinai or whatever and got the commandments and all. He was in a fucking UFO, alright? He was the head Negro at the time. See, the way Inky and, 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 and Leo Rock, they'll pick one man. A messenger, or what have you. They didn't really speak to people directly. Alright? Now they did at one time, but then they kind of fell back a little bit. They didn't want to, they kind of wanted to live in the shadows. One of the reasons why I have a fucking mask on my face, I like being in the shadow also. But the bottom line is this. Such a weapon was used to part the sea, the safe, safe passage. Have any stupid ass pastor in the church, if he was thinking, <clears throat> if God, God parted the sea, I'm pretty sure there was some big ass fish or whales up in that sea. So why there's water right here, or I'm going to say, a mile high tsunami was sustained at a certain level, frozen. How come a big ass fish or shark or dolphin or whatever didn't cross over? Or wasn't at their feet? It's because there was a barrier, okay? 
Such a device does such thing. That ain't no fucking magic. That's technology. For the same pastors that go to the motherfucking hospital, bitch, they ain't the Lord healing you. That's the doctors using technology. Talk about a fucking miracle. Bitch, please. Technology is not magic. It is what technology is science. So we're talking about pure science here with the pardon of that damn seat using an ultrasonic type of device. So I said one was already built before. And in a real war, that will that's more ideal to use than a damn nuke. But like I said, nukes carry a stigmatism behind it. And when they throw it around, making threats, other nations get scared. But a true fucking war will be used, an ultrasonic device will be used because of the ill effects of the, the nuclear fallout. We breathing particles right now from Fukushima and still from Chernobyl. Who in the fuck in their right mind will go drop a goddamn nuke right now? The elite ain't stupid. They know this shit. That's why they put troops on the ground to fight. Or they do airstrikes and shit. But as I said, an ultrasonic device would be more ideal for the black man to get shit done. Now let me explain something to you Negroes. What I have in mind, the ultrasonic device, using a sequencer, as I said before, I showed you a sequencer, the Roland 505, MC505. I told you that kind of technology is watered down, but it ain't watered down that much, the whole concept of it. It's like a world within the box alone. It's one big, big fucking world slash encryption device. I could program my fucking DNA in a goddamn drum machine. Okay? Now the bottom line is this. Such a device would need to be sequenced. Okay? And tuned for sound. Tuned at the right frequency. Everything responds at a different frequency. What? What's currently on the market? The only thing I can think of that's currently on the market that could probably get the fucking job done that's reprogrammable is this right here. Most people don't know I haven't heard of the fucking Dark Star, okay? The Dark Star. Let me turn the get some light on this right here. This came out in 1999. No other like it. No other device like it. Made in England, okay? The British not used to, they, 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 they don't specialize in synthesizers. But this right here says support from any other synthesizer on the market that I've known of anyway. The Dark Star, I'm going to just keep it real with you. When I first saw the fucking Dark Star, I was obsessed by it. I didn't even know what the fuck it sound like because it wasn't sold in the stores. You only had to order it and on through, through a magazine or whatever. I used to look at the fucking the, 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 the paper, the magazine, look at the picture of it and wonder when the f I seen this shit before. I seen it. Well where the fuck did I see it at? It just came out on the market. This was back in 99. 16 years ago. This is what it looks like. You'll rarely find one. Even on B eBay, you won't really find a fucking dark star. It does not look like anything else that was on the market at the time. It's red sound dark star. You see that. On the back here, you loosen this up. There's a chip, a re replaceable trip, uh, chip, okay? Um, when you loosen this, you can replace the chip with the optional chip of a what was known as the vocoder, V-O-C-O-D-A, okay? It turned into an eight-step sequencer slash a vocoder also. 
But in the mold that it's in right now, the original chip, it is just a five part synthesizer. This is the round one because it don't have the barcode at the top right here. This is one of the originals. So I started looking at this damn thing and trying to figure out what the fuck is it. Why am I so drawn to this goddamn thing? What is it? Because it's black? Because it's red? Because it's red on black? What is it? I remember seeing it as a child. I told you the white motherfuckers steal technology, okay? I remember seeing this goddamn thing as a child. I don't remember where, where I seen it, but when I saw it, I thought it was a toy. And that's exactly what the fuck it looked like. It looks like a toy, but it's far from it. The Dark Star is the only fucking synthesizer that ever came out with this right here. You see that? But the bottom line is this. No other like it. Red R-E-D. Three letters. Dark Star. Red Sound Dark Star. If you do your research, you'll find out more. You'll understand the series of threes and sixes behind this damn thing. There's no other like it. None other like it. But anyway, it's just a synthesizer. It's not a sequencer. But it's a badass synthesizer because you stack layers. These are five parts that you stack together, okay? In linear mode. It's got uh, every knob. Every knob on here transmits MIDI uh, code, MIDI signals. That's almost rare for any fucking synthesizer. Every fucking knob on this thing transmits MIDI. Every last one. Any body that knows synthesizers will tell you that's rare. It's rare to have 24 MIDI syncable LFOs. All right. Low frequency oscillators. As I said, the white bastard steal technology. He's a thief. This right here, if I had to gamble, I would say this was a fucking controller of a UFO. He just rebranded it. If there's something called the, the Federation that looked just like this. That, that was made by Red Sound. The Federation BPX Pro or some shit. Same hardware. But as I said, this right here, the way it's laid out, it looks like a fucking controller for a goddamn spaceship. Okay? Listen to the names. Dark Star. Look at this. Look at this right here. What does that look like? What does that look like? That looked like the ring of Saturn, okay? As I said, he's a fucking thief. He's a thief. Space is black. And you'll see red before you see any other color in space. Because red is a flame. You, there's red stars, okay? As I said, this shit looked like something from out the 80s, but it's not. It's from out the 90s. But I remember seeing it as a child. As I was saying, a device sync up with this. Reprogram. You have a sequencer. This sequencer will probably look similar to what... Alright, right now, this is what I have in mind, this right here, to actually drive the Dark Star, get a little bit more light, it's called the Ultra One, it's three, instead of having one, uh, linear with linear chaser mode, as I said with the lights, 
There's three on board, hands on, okay? Three on board. Three parts. And roughly nine virtual parts. Or three channels. As you can see, and it may look gibberish to you. I know what the fuck it is. And I know how to build it. Point blank. I've had my Dark Star since 99, so I know how to fucking master that thing. But with the right kind of sequencer that hasn't... The Dark Star is such a versatile piece. It's so different. The average sequencer. It would take a special type of sequencer to actually get what the, the full potentials of the Dark Star. Along with it being re reprogrammed. Another chip being burned for it. Okay, you pay close attention. I'm not finished with it. But as I said, I know how to fucking build the damn thing. A prototype anyway. As well as how to get it. Uh, the the mil some military type hardware to actually do the blast. Something that'll hold up. To amplify these signals. Okay. But anyway. I'm running out of time. Because. You know. I'm just keep it real with you. I was supposed to go and see my old lady. You know. I'm supposed to be giving me some pussy tonight. So I'm. Shit. You know. I ain't said enough. I said what I had to say. You niggas. Better listen up. I hope you learned something. I'm not going to be able to keep doing these videos and shit. But I piss a lot of white people off. Okay? So, as I said, I hope you got it. I hope you learn from it. I hope you fucking experiment with it. But anyway, y'all be safe. Be careful. Take care of one another. Ultra Star Triple Three, and I'm out.